Thank you, Ryan. All new for you this morning. We know the pandemic has had lasting effects on all of us. Many of us are now talking more about mental health, especially when it comes to kids who are dealing with things most kids have never had to. But there's a new book written by local authors that's helping kids explore the feelings brought on by COVID-19. I caught up with the authors and talked to them all about it. Do you ever feel like a tree without leaves. Zoe Zerniak has always been one for details. When she's not in school at Mount Mercy Academy, she's getting creative. I do some of my own drawings in my free time. I also just like doodling. Her doodling skills landed her a great opportunity to illustrate her first book at 15 years old. The idea for the book was mental health therapist Brenda Whalens. I was in quarantine for a bunch of days because of being exposed to COVID, wondering what other people were going through and how are people doing this? And it started me thinking about if as adults we're struggling to go through this, how are kids getting through this? She wanted to offer some kind words. Because you are all you need. And Zoe helped bring them to life. And Zoe was able to say like, I'm not sure if kids would understand those words, but they might understand these words. Mm. So I actually made her the co-author of the book. Waylon is close friends with Zoe's grandmother, who owns local reading company Magic Penny Reading. She was the one who suggested Zoe do the illustrations. She's like, Zoe, I have some exciting news for you. And then she told me I was going to be illustrating a book. And what was your reaction? The most exciting moment of my life. Not only is it great experience for Zoe, but it's an opportunity to help people everywhere. The pandemic at first was super scary, I remember. That's why I tried to add so many little details in there. So when people look back on it, they think, hey, how can I apply this to my own life? And just to know that big people feel the same way sometimes and they're struggling just as much as the kids are. And when it was finished, I like looked at it and I remember thinking, wow, like this is really gonna hit people. Well, right now the book is available online. It costs $15 and if online sales go well, we hope to soon be able to put it in stores. You can click on this link and click on this story at WKBW.com. You can find a link to buy the book. And what's really cute is that these two have built a bond and they have this sister companion that they do at Mount Mercy Academy. And she picked Brenda to be her sister this year and they like get to hang out and do little mentorship. Oh, that's sweet. It's, it's really adorable. You know, I was reading this book actually uh, on Friday because it's, you know, a very easy read. Um, <laughs> Thing is, uh, it really does put into perspective for a child what that feeling is and right. how to kind of sort through it and get to the other side. So it's really nice, oh, yes. uh, a really helpful tool to say the least, especially right now. Mm -hmm. Five